today we are going to do a little prawn on toast with some lovely wild mushrooms. And it's using everything that's kind of great this time of year. So from wild mushrooms to langoustines, AKA Dublin Bay prawns. And so these lovely beauties here are all krill caught. So it's a really sustainable way of catching these prawns. And then some lovely forage mushrooms. Great little snack, super easy to do when your friends are around you. Just gobble it up. So one of the things people are always frightened of buying whole shellfish and buying whole fish. So we're gonna try and take a little bit of the fear of that away today by showing you how to peel uh, these beautiful prawns. The advantage in buying your prawn whole like this is you get so many other uses for it. You get to make lovely stocks out of it. You get to make your soups out of it. And then, you know, it's, it's just a great thing. So just begin by just breaking away the, he the head from the tail, like that. And then you have your main body of the prawn. If you just push these guys just towards each, each, each other, you hear a little crack like that. All the way down and then just peel back. Come to that. It's really, really, really e easy to do. The only part that's inside it, I suppose, is the intestinal tract. If you just pinch the tail and pull like that, it will come away. Ta-da! With it. It takes a little bit of practice to, to get it to do, to do that. But what you can also do is just go down the back like this here. And if the tract was still there, it would come out now. In the tract as well, it's nothing but sand really that's ever really in these. So not taking it out isn't really that big a deal. And that's your lovely peeled Dublin Bay prawn. So the next step in doing this is we're gonna clarify some butter down. Um, so really, really easy way to do this is just get a little bit of our beautiful butter here. I'm just gonna pop this in the microwave just for a couple of seconds just to melt it. Okay. So here we have some of our melted butter. It's not quite clarified. The clarified, you need to let it rest for a second or two just for the milk solids to fall to the bottom. But for the purpose of this dish, it's, it's absolutely fine like this. Now we're gonna grab some lovely sourdough. About two slices per person is ample. Now I'm gonna give these a little dip in the butter because butter makes everything better. And into a warm pan, and not a hot pan, it needs to be just a warm pan because you want this to really caramelize and go lovely and golden. Now you hear a nice little sizzle there, and that's just gonna start to caramelize and go a lovely toasted brown. Okay, so in our other pan here, I'm just gonna get a little bit of rapeseed oil. Um, this is a lovely Irish rapeseed oil. It's got a really high flash point, so it won't burn on you. It's got a really nice, delicate flavor. And again, it's a lovely local Irish product. So we have that, it's on a medium heat. I'm just gonna drop in some of our lovely pawns that we've just peeled. Again, it does have to be not a hot pan, just a warm pan. I'm just gonna let it come up to temperature. Okay, so while our, our prawns are just kind of sizzling away there, I'm just gonna pick a selection of these lovely little mushrooms that we have here. Now they're all cleaned, but and you don't need to chop them or, or overwork them. Just peel them back, it's just lovely like that. There's many different mushrooms and textures that you can get as grace. This here's a lovely king mushroom. Um, it'd be similar enough to a porcini. Okay, so you can hear the prawns are beginning to sizzle away. So we'll go drop these into the pan now also. Now one thing is important when you're cooking the mushrooms is that you don't season them at this stage here. If you do, all of the liquid in the mushrooms will be drawn out and you'll be left with that very kind of soggy, almost um, styrofoam tasting mushroom, what we're not going for. Okay, so they're just going to wilt away for a minute or two. So over here we have a lovely compound of butter. This is just Irish butter with some spinach, some parmesan, some garlic, and some sea salt in it. Into our pan. And we can check our toast now also. That's beginning to get there. So like most fish, fish loves lemon. So it's gonna give us a little squeeze of lemon. Two of my favorite herbs to use with seafood is chive and chervil. So this is chervil, it's got a lovely light aniseed flavor. Keep the stalks and things off these because they're great again to add to your soups or anything else that you are making. And with this, just give it a really light chop. Try not to bruise it. So a nice sharp knife and just clean cuts down. That can go in with our prawns. And now a little, yum. So they're beginning to, look perfect now, lovely and crispy and buttery. 
and then a couple of chives. With the herbs, while they do add a lovely colour, these herbs are very much going in for their flavour and not just for the aesthetics. There we go. And we can turn that off. Okay, so you can begin to plate. Now again, this can go on a big platter and it's great for everyone. Everyone can just jump in and grab a bite and, and enjoy it. Your lovely hot butter toast. And now our prawns. And wild mushrooms. This is a great kind of late TV snack as well. You can also add just a little wedge of lemon to this in case your guests want a little bit more zest. And a crack of pepper. And that's it, that's our prawns on toast.